Good morning everyone and welcome to Sunrise Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me this early morning. It is six o'clock in the morning here and I thought we'd catch some nice sunlight coming up over the horizon together and soak our bodies in the light. And this morning we'll do a slow flow yoga session and we will start with um, our Gayatri Mantra to invoke the light within us and to share it with others. And um, the texts are below right in the comments, so it's easy to follow along if you needed to. We'll start with one ohm and end with one ohm. So let's take a nice comfortable seat. Take a nice big inhale. Sabitur varinyam Vargo divasi di mahi dio yona gracho jayat. Set an intention for your practice something that you like to dedicate your energy to a person a thing a place and exhale release the hands and come to all fours please hands and knees and toes are tucked under and we'll start by giving ourselves a couple of nice cat cows Inhaling and exhaling, arching the spine, concaving it back down, making some nice big waves, rolling the spine vertebrae by vertebrae, up towards the base of the skull, all the way down towards the sacrum, the sit bones. And we'll keep that going for three more rolls, waking up the energy through the spine helping us to open up through the hips through the shoulders and we'll do one more bringing the spine all the way up towards the sky expanding the back body and coming back in to a neutral spine take that right arm out and the left leg Spreading the toes, checking the midline, strengthening the vessels, breathing, and exhale, switch to the second side. Take your right leg up and your left arm out, strengthening the center line of the body, holding. And bringing it back to the center. Take your right toes and kickstand it out to the right side. Stretch your left leg. Stretch from your hip all the way out to the ankle. And then lift your left arm up and over. Stretch the side body. Wake it up into the layers. And exhale. Come back to the center. And kickstand your left foot out the right leg all the way out to the side and unravel the right arm into a nice gentle side plank and exhale come back to the center and come into child's pose big toes together knees apart stretch the arms forward long from the hips to the shoulders to the wrists and find yourself back into tabletop. We're going to take that right leg up into a like a 90 degree angle, spreading the toes and taking the leg back down and opening it up through the side and making three circles with the hips, one direction. 
and then we'll circle the opposite direction, lifting it up to the back and taking some nice big quarter turns and switching to the second side, taking your left leg up 90 degrees, spreading the toes and bringing it back down, lifting your leg up to the side, making circles, three nice big quarter circles and switching direction. And exhale, coming back to all fours, taking your knees a little bit further back and making your way up to downward facing dog, please. Adho Mukha Svanasana, pedaling in towards the legs, ankles, knees, hips, bending the knees. into your ankles, coming into a down dog with a little bit more weight over towards your hands and then from there we'll take a couple of cat cows here in our down dog with the bent knees to wake up the juices in the spine, waking up the pathways in the spine, so clear thinking, clear mind, exhale, and inhale and exhale and inhale and stepping your feet over to the hands and coming to feet wide um hip widths apart take a hand in each and elbow and swinging side to side Take your right hand around your right ankle and take your left hand to your sacrum. Turn your body to the left side. A nice gentle twist. And switch to the second side. Left hand around the left ankle. Bend your left knee, straighten your right. Right hand to your right side of the hip, sacrum area, twisting and turning. And exhale, take it back to the center and sweeping the arms all the way up towards the sky and exhale hinge and fold bend into the knees and inhale sweeping it all the way back up and exhale hinge bend your knees and bringing it all the way back up and we'll do two more Inhaling, inhaling, bringing it all the way up, and exhale, and inhale, bringing the hands up towards the sky, take your right wrist, widen your feet, bend into the knees, crescent over to the left side, stretching into the right side body, making Lots of good, nice open pathways to soak up the light nice. into all the parts of the body and exhale, coming back up, hands all the way down to the side. Let's widen the feet and turn the toes slightly in, take the arms all the way up, inhale, long side body, exhale, hands out to the side and turn your heels in and bend your knees bend your knees uh, in a nice comfortable way here so that you can build some strength into the thighs and open up in towards the hamstrings take your right hand onto your right thigh sweep the left arm all the way up open up into the left side body and switch second side left hand down right arm all the way up and exhale switch sides take your right forearm to your right thigh left arm straight up and exhale take your left forearm to your left thigh 
right arm up to the sky and exhale come all the way back down and shoulder stretch right shoulder to the center left shoulder towards the back and switching second side and gently taking it all the way back up and straighten your knees for one breath take your arms out to the side Bring your arms all the way up, find your fingers up here. So your thumbs, index, long, ring and pinky are touching each other for severe mudra. And then bending the knees all the way down. So this helps to lift, um, To if you, if you bring and press your fingers together and then raise your arms up, you can really find a nice big space for the lower back to elongate. So we'll stay right here, breathing. Sitting nice and deep, building some nice good strength and muscle in towards the thighs. Take the arms out to the side. One more breath right here and then press into the feet. Turn the toes, take the hands behind and interlace the hands. Roll the shoulders up and back. Keep the hands onto the sacrum and hinge and fold. Bend into the knees. Lift your sacrum. Staying here, opening the shoulders, checking in with our hamstring. Maybe it feels like a good idea to fold a little bit further down. Roll the shoulders up and back, anchor in towards the legs, in towards the feet. Release the top of the head towards the floor, towards the earth, towards the ground. And exhale, bring it all the way back up and release the hands, turn the palms, inhale, bring it all the way up and exhale, hinge and fold, touch the hands to the earth, take your arms forward, bend into the knees, prasarta hinge, so we have our feet wide apart, turn the toes slightly and arms forward, lengthening from the hips to the shoulders to the wrists and unravel any knot in the lower back into the hips waking up and gently take the hands underneath your shoulders right hand in the center left hand to the sacrum twist and turn nice and easy and gentle anchor the feet strongly down equal standing on the feet so we have the same amount of weight on the feet and exhale, left hand to the earth, right hand to the sacrum. Twist and turn over towards the right side. And exhale, release, take the gaze all the way back down. Hands to the hips, elbows to the sky, press the feet, inhale, come up to standing and step the feet back together. Come to the front of the mat and we'll um, we'll greet the sun with the sun salutation. It is slowly coming up over the horizon and I'm hoping that it'll sip into you over there as well and soak your body up with some um, radiant sunlight. Let's take the hands to the sides, turn the palms, inhale, one nice breath up towards the sky, hands up towards the um, heavens, palms together and exhale, release hinge and fold, bend into the knees, touch the earth, inhale, long spine, exhale, fold, step your left foot back, take your knee to the earth, inhale, steady leg, steady core, sweep the arms forward and up, and come forward in the hips, thigh stretch, reach your arms, low lunge, exhale, release, hands to the earth, Extend your back leg, step it forward. Inhale, long spine, exhale, fold. Step your right foot back, take your knee to the earth. Inhale, sweep the arms forward and up for low lunge, thigh stretch, Anjasana. Take the gaze up towards the sky. Exhale, release hands to the earth. Extend your back leg, step forward, inhale, long spine, 
exhale fold sweep the arms out to the side ground your feet your legs inhale palms together and exhale hands down to the side inhale one more round sweep the arms all the way up and exhale hinge and fold uttanasana forward fold inhale long spine exhale step your left foot back nice big step back take a pause sweep the arms forward and up towards the sky sinking nice and deep lifting the heart the chest the lungs and exhale release hands to the earth step it forward forward fold step your right foot back come up high on your toes in the back inhale sweep the arms forward and up lift your heart your chest your lungs inhale and exhale release hands to the earth step it forward forward fold uttanasana hands sweeping to the sides inhale bring it all the way up towards the sky palms together and exhale hands all the way down to the side from here we're going to come into tree pose so we're going to take our right leg and foot and put it either down by the ankle or taking it a little higher up maybe towards the knee maybe up towards the inner thigh and coming into an, another hip opening and a stabilizing uh, balancing pose where we just are growing some nice strong roots from the hips down through the leg and in towards the earth from our ankle and foot arms might come up towards the side extending energy from your heart from your lungs all the way out anchoring in towards the standing leg and exhale hands to the heart and hug your knee in towards the chest and release it back down and switch to the second side find a good footing for your right foot and take your left ankle uh, left foot to the ankle or towards the knee or bringing it up towards the inner thigh and from here maybe taking the hands out to the side maybe sweeping them up towards the towards the sky and we'll see how it goes sweeping the arms all the way out extending out coming back to our intention from the beginning of class anchoring into it and standing nice and steady in our pathway finding some more balance from going straight there and exhale hands to the heart bringing your knee in towards the chest and exhale release it all the way down inhale bring your arms up to the sky feet at the front of the mat inhale and exhale hinge and fold uttanasana inhale long spine step your left foot back turn your left foot flat take your hands out in a diagonal so you have your front leg bent 90 degrees and your left leg in a nice long um, form all the way out towards the back with your toes slightly tucked in pull the ribs in pull the abdominals in to secure the midline to bring health into the spine and stability in towards the lower back from here wrap your right hip down take your right elbow towards your right thigh sweep the left arm up towards the sky bottom ribs forward top ribs back take the gaze up towards the sky or keep your gaze down wherever it works for you to keep your balance and exhale release take it all the way back down straddle your right foot left hand down right arm up to the sky lifting it all the way up big crescent twist 
and exhale on it. Hands to the earth. Step it forward, forward fold. Uttanasana. Hands to the hips, elbows to sky, root the feet, come all the way up to standing and release the hands down to the side. And sweep the arms all the way up, palms together, exhale, hinge and fold, Uttanasana, forward fold. From here, step your right foot back, toes down, heel up, turn your hands over to the side and then sink your right heel down to the ground arms all the way out so we are coming back to our um, two hand supported side angle or like a down dog lunge situation with your front knee bent and your back leg extended so left leg is bent and the right leg is extended hip opening lower back opening extending pull the ribs in Nice and strong, in towards the core. Wrap your left outer hip down. Take your left shoulder, your left forearm to your left thigh. Sweep the right arm up towards the sky. Bottom ribs forward, top ribs back. Soaping up the sunlight into all the parts of the body. And exhale, release hands, straddling the front foot, come up onto the back toes, left arm up to the sky for a nice big crescent twist, extending, and exhale, release hands to the earth, step it back, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana, pedaling in towards the heels, spread the fingers, Come up onto the toes, bend your knees, and come into child's pose. Stretching your arms forward, sinking nice and deep in towards the in towards the seat. And coming up onto all fours from here. Arching the spine all the way up and concaving it back down. And we'll do that two more times, sweeping it all the way up. Exhaling, bringing it back down. And one more time. Coming back to a neutral spine, sweeping your right arm up and your left leg out, checking in from the beginning, seeing how we feel in the midline, in the center. Take your right elbow to your left knee, arch the spine, sweep it back down. Elbow to knee, and elbow to knee, and we keep it going two more times. Finding our center line. So we move from a nice connected place through the whole day and extend arm and leg and switch to the second side. It is also a very good thing to do before we come into some side angles. That way we have our midline plugged in and ignited. Take your elbow to your knee inside, meeting the elbow, meeting the knee. Plug the ribs in, expand into the back body. Exhale and inhale and exhale. We have one more elbow to knee. Take it all the way out and bring your hands down to the earth, downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana with bent knees. Come up high onto your toes. From here, ground from your shoulders down your arms, hug your muscles into the bones, spread your fingers, sweep the right leg up towards the sky. Take your foot between your hands, bend your back knee, um, extend your back knee and bend your front knee. 
windmill the left arm up and over and come into warrior two. Nice big full extended Virabhadrasana two. Powerful in the legs from your hips and down. Extend down into the legs, down into the feet. Arms out to the side. Flip your right palm up. Sail it back into a crescent warrior with your arms straight up towards the sky unraveling in towards the right side of the body take your right forearm to your right thigh sweep your left arm up to the sky press your right forearm down take the arm over the ear all the way over and exhale bring it all the way back up arms out to the side and we're going to pulse three times in towards the right leg and extending both legs. Turn your toes and hands to the hips. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, hinge and fold. Take your hands to the floor. Inhale, extend the arms. Exhale, take the top of the head towards the earth. And from here, bringing it back up, taking yourself all the way over to down dog, either either the same side or switch side, whichever works for you. Downward facing dog, left side. Take your left leg up towards the sky. Hug your muscles into the arm bones, strong shoulders, arms. Step your left foot between the hands. Windmill up into warrior two. Front knee bent 90 degrees back leg straight, coming nice and deep, flip your left palm up and sweep your left arm up towards the sky, all the way up, elongate the whole left side of the waist, take your left forearm to your left thigh, sweep the right arm up towards the sky, maybe even taking it over towards the side, and exhale, bringing it all the way back up into a warrior two. And we're going to bend the front knee and extend it. And bend the front knee and extend it. One more time, bending the front knee and extending your front knee. And then turning the toes slightly and hands to the hips. We'll come back into Prasarta Padottanasana. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, hinge and fold. Top of the head towards the earth. This time we'll keep the hands on the shoulders. Lift the shoulders away from the ears. Extending into the back leg. Press the hands, press the feet. Come all the way back up to standing. And release the hands. Inhale, bring it all the way up and hands down to the center and bring your feet all the way together. Nice. Exhale, release. Inhale, come to the front of the yoga mat. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Palms together. Exhale, fold. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold. Step to downward facing dog, please. Adho. Mukha Svanasana. One more round of side angles. Right leg up towards the sky. Take your right foot between the hands. Extend all the way up to straight legs. Turn your right palm up and bring your right arm up towards the sky. Left hand all the way down onto your leg. From here, take it all the way back out and hinge into Trikonasana, triangle pose, with your right hand onto the ankle, somewhere down below the knee, wherever it works for you. Take the gaze up towards the sky. And exhale, gaze back down. Take it all the way back up. Turn your toes. 
all the way in and hands to the hips inhale long spine exhale hinge and fold unravel into the back of the legs into the hamstrings into the lower back push your hips back and then press the feet come back up to standing and release the arms out to the side and come all the way down to down dog onto your left side or onto your second down dog sweep your left leg up towards the sky and step your left foot between the hands and windmill all the way up to standing arms out flip your left palm up take your left arm up towards the sky nice big elongation onto the side body and exhale hands out to the side hinge and fold into your trikonasana with your hand somewhere below the knee towards the ankle pull from the feet in towards the back of the legs in towards the knees for happy healthy stable energy going through the knees one more breath here and exhale release take it all the way back up turn your toes hands to hips one more time inhale long spine exhale hinge and fold for sarka padasanasana feet wide apart hands on the hips building strength into the legs building openness into the legs back pathways open in towards the back of the legs knees ankles slowly taking it all the way back up arms out to the sides bend your knees bring your feet all the way back together hands to the sides and then come towards the front of the yoga mat inhale turn the palms bring the feet all the way together and bring your hands together up towards the sky up towards the heavens and coming into vessel mudra where we can anchor into our intention from the beginning of our practice by connecting to the heart of earth by connecting to the heart of source and being just a true vessel of information of transformation breathing exhale release bring it all the way back down and we'll take one sun salutation from here inhale turn the palms bring it all the way up and exhale bring it all the way back down hands to earth inhale long spine exhale place the hands step back to plank pose saluting the sun with one sir namaskar a bring your body towards the earth inhale unravel into your bhujangasana cobra pose exhale bring it back down tuck the toes exhale take it all the way into downward facing dog three breaths here soaking up the light into all parts of the body coming up onto the toes bend the knees look between the hands take a step forward inhale long spine exhale fold press the feet inhale come all the way up palms together and exhale hands all the way down to the sides and from here we'll come all the way down onto our backs and just lay all the way back on to the earth or onto your yoga mat wherever you might be take the hands to the side and press the palms down lift the outer hips up roll the shoulders up and back and come into bridge pose lifting it all the way up stretching in towards the thighs you can grab your yoga mat here with your hands you can take your hands underneath and interlace lifting the hips up towards the sky press the root of the big toes down Unravel the 
lower back, grounding the femurs in, and release your left leg and extend um, your right knee more in towards the shoulder and sweep your right leg up towards the sky. Hands around the hamstrings, spread the toes, press your hands in towards your hamstrings, extending the whole leg, opening the pathways for the knees, for the ankles. Walk your hands up towards your ankle, take your head towards your knee, elbows out to the side. abdominals to lift yourself up and exhale release bring it back down take your peace fingers around your big toe left hand around your left back and open your leg over towards the side supine leg to side pose and gently bringing it all the way back over bend your knee in and bring both knees into the chest hug it all the way in extend your right leg out hold your left leg in knee to shoulder extend your leg up towards the sky hands around the hamstrings press your hamstrings into your hands hands to hamstrings breathing softening walking your hands up towards your ankle, use your abdominal to lift yourself up. And release back down. Take your peace fingers around your big toe. Take your right hand around your right thigh to help to anchor it down. Open up into supine leg to side pose. Extending your legs, spreading the toes. Bringing it all the way back up. And bending your knee all the way back down. Extending this hind legs opposite direction from the hands. Hug your, hook your thumbs together and full extension all the way. From the midline, extend out through the legs. From the midline, extend up through the torso, the arms. Bring your hands to the sides. Hug your knees all the way in. And hands underneath and roll it all the way up. Come into a comfortable seat. Crossing your legs or sitting onto your knees you like to sit and from here we are closing our practice with a chant of peace for all beings everywhere loka samasta sukino bhavantu and it is ends also with om shanti 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 peace for our heart peace for our mind peace for our lives so we'll send out lot of love and peace and then we'll save some for ourselves as well so there's a nice balance there and um, we'll just take a nice comfortable seat taking our palms together front of the heart we'll start with one ohm take a nice big inhale Shanti, Shanti. We'll take a few moments to sit together. Checking in with our intention from the beginning of class.
maybe we need to deposit some more energy into it maybe there's a new intention waiting already to be filled we'll stick with that for a moment invite you to either take a longer seat to let all the layers settle down and to find your uh, divine light and listen to your intuition that rises up after yoga practice all the clear layers have so much to say and I also invite you to take a Shavasana so anything that works for you to close up your practice on your own and I look forward to seeing you in the next yoga video and I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining. Namaste.